welcome back to MacBook Lessons. This is lesson number nine, a lesson a day made easy for you on Facebook. Today we are going to talk about sharing. Now your mama always told you to share and be nice on the playground, but sometimes sharing is not always the best thing. Today we're going to go to our system preferences folder and we're going to talk about sharing on your computer. So a lot of times you will come into your finder window and you will notice down in the bottom that you actually have sharing computers. Now it'll say shared and there will be a computer listed below it. And if there's a computer in within the vicinity in the wireless area that has their shared ha, is sharing, you will actually see it and you can get on their computer and share information with them. Now just because you see their computer does not mean you can necessarily share with them. So today I'm going to talk to you about how you can share and it's really pretty simple. Let me go back to show all and show you right here on the internet and wireless. The very last one with the little person on it on the folder is sharing. So right here is your computer name and this is what other people will see when they see your folder in the finder window. <clears throat> they see you under the list. And uh, you can change that name. Make sure your unlock button is unlocked down here. You may have to put in your computer password, but once you do, you can change the name up here just by clicking Edit. <coughs> and what you'll notice under the sharing menu is that you can share a lot of different things and actually not share a lot of different things. So anything that you have checked here actually is available to share. So if we wanted to share our DVD or CD drive so that other people could use it, maybe they don't have a DVD or CD drive and this is a way for them to get some information off a CD, you can actually check this and share that information with them. You can also share your screen with someone by checking it right here. That might be nice if you are trying to teach someone how to do something and you want them to be able to see it from their computer screen. Under file sharing, you can actually share information right here, which there's another way and I'll show you in just a minute, but you can allow others to see your shared folders and share with them information. You can actually share your printer. So if someone is trying to print but they don't have the printing software, you can actually share it with them right here so they don't have to download it onto their computer. You can share your scanner too. You can scare your shanner. <laughs> now you can sh share your scanner. You can re uh, remote login. So if you are working and can't figure something out and you need someone to log in remotely and show you how to do it, you can do that right here. You can also have someone manage your computer from a remote location or you can remote into your computer if you have it set up right here with this checked. You can remote Apple events, you can share your internet, and you can also share Bluetooth devices. So it's really kind of a cool feature. Each one has its own little menu that you can come in and read and and check what you need to check to set it up. But it allows you to share between computers. Now one thing I like about sharing is not just this feature, but if you go into Finder and you see the AirDrop menu, under the AirDrop menu, any computer that you have in the vicinity that has clicked on AirDrop will show up in here. So right now, it's you see I'm searching in AirDrop for other computers. Unfortunately, there are no other computers in my vicinity, so it doesn't it won't show anything on here. However, if I'm on AirDrop and I ask someone else to come onto AirDrop, I can actually drag files from my desktop onto their icon and they will immediately download the uh, information that I sent them. This allows for quick sharing without a thumb drive or without a external hard drive um, or without emailing the document, whatever it may be. So I really like AirDrop. I like the sharing feature. They're great to have and to know about. And you know, if you need more information about them, there's a lot of tutorials online that you can get to, but uh, they are great features for sharing information between computers. I hope you enjoyed today's le lesson, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.